Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Katie and welcome to the stress-free place to learn music to keep you grooving and improving on your musical journey. Today I'm going to be teaching you a strumming version and a finger picking version of House of the Rising Sun and at the very end there is a full play along so make sure that you stick around for the entire thing. First let's start with the strumming pattern. It's going to sound like this. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So you see the strumming pattern, it's basically the same thing twice, down, down, up, down, up, and then another, down, down, up, down, up. So make sure that if you have a chord that is held for six counts, make sure you've strummed that entire strumming pattern cycle. Let's start off on the intro, which is also the instrumental. It's A minor, C, D, F, and then A minor, E7, A minor, E7. Each chord is held for six counts, or it's six beats, one strumming pattern cycle. So let's try that. We have A minor. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, uh, here. One, two, and three, and four, five, and C. One, two, and three, and four, five, E, seven, one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, E, seven, one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and. And then we go into a verse, which is very similar to the intro. We have an A minor for six counts. We go to a C, a D, an F. A minor, C, and then we have E7 for two measures, or we have E7 six counts plus another six counts, so 12 essentially. So let's try that. One, two, and three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, and three, and four, C. Now we have the second half of the verse. We have A minor, C, D, F, A minor, E7, and then A minor. And then it's going to go into the instrumental. All right, so let's try that. One, two, and three, and four, A minor. Let's play. So what's interesting about this is that right when you end the verse, the ending A minor chord is really the start of the instrumental. So, you know, following along with the music, it doesn't repeat the A minor to repeat the cycle. It just goes right into it. And How fast it actually goes <laughs> but don't worry about speed just yet make sure that your strumming is slowly and accurately uh, and you can actually play this as fast as you want but if you're going to play it a tempo to the track that's how fast it's going to go one two and three and four five and six and one two and three and four five and six and but really note that even though i'm playing that in the play along you don't have to play that fast in order to play the song all right you just go at your own pace now we have the finger picking portion. My ukulele is strung with a high G. You could also play this with a low G. It would sound just fine. So I'm going to start with my A minor chord. 
and my fingers are going to be assigned to certain strings. My thumb is going to be assigned to these two strings, the G and the C string, my index finger to the E string, and my middle finger to the A string. G, C, E, A. Now first I'm going to pluck the A and the G strings together, then my thumb is going to pluck the G string, then my index finger, the E string, my thumb will now pluck the C string, and then my middle finger will pluck the A string, and then my index finger, the E string, and my uh, thumb, the C string, there it is. So I have together, thumb, index, thumb, and then I'm gonna call this a backward roll because I start from the string closest to my toes and then consecutively to almost the one closest to my nose. I'm just not gonna pluck that G string again. So it's gonna sound like this. Together, thumb, index, thumb, backward roll. All right, so we have one, two, and three, four, five, six. 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 Yeah, there we go. So we have one finger picking cycle for each chord. So I have one, two, and three, four, five, six. C chord. One, two, and three, four, five, six. So you see the finger picking pattern remained the same, but now I just switched to a different chord. That's kind of the magic of finger picking. If you keep the pattern consistent and then you can switch between chords in time, you've really created instant magic, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. So if you haven't seen my video on instant magic, I'm going to link that in the cards above or the description box below about finger picking and some free exercises you can try. Let's try the verse together slowly, A minor. One, two, and three, backward roll. One two and three, backward roll. One, two and three, backward. C, one, two and three, backward roll. One, two and three, backward. F, one, two and three, backward roll. One, two and three, backward. C, two and three, backward. E7, one, two and three, backward roll. One, two and three, backward roll. Now we have A minor. One, two, and three, backward roll. One, two, and three, backward D. One, two, and three, backward F. One, two, and three, backward A minor. Three, backward E7. A minor. Then C, which is the instrumental, which is what we learned before. Sorry, E7. Now, hopefully, you learned from uh, maybe a couple of notes that you're like, "Yeah, Katie, you played the wrong note." Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, but y you know what the, the key to finger picking is? You, you just keep going. That's the good thing about holding your fingers in the entire chord. It's because that if you end up finger picking a different pattern or you end up plucking a different string, it kind of sounds like you meant to do that. Or people just don't notice because you're just keeping in rhythm and maybe your thumb accidentally plucks the G string rather than the C string or your index finger accidentally plucks the A string. It, it doesn't matter as long as you're in time and you keep going and your fingers are holding in the cord as a safeguard. You really can't lose. It's instant magic. Okay, so the play along is next so you can hear how everything fits together. I hope you enjoy it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six.
Hey, thank you so much for being here. I hope that you had a great time learning this. And if you would like more, I have some more free finger picking tutorials over here that you can pick and choose from. No pun intended. <laughs> and I hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, you are loved. Bye.